all those affected by the major repairs being carried out on the Thelwall Viaduct on the M6 in Cheshire will be pleased to know that the works are on course to be completed in spring 2005. When it was originally opened in 1963, Thelwall Viaduct carried just a few thousand vehicles a day over the Manchester Ship Canal. But now, this vital north-south link is used by over 160,000 vehicles a day. The motorway is carried on two viaducts, with northbound traffic on the original viaduct, which was refurbished in 1996, and southbound traffic on the new viaduct, opened the same year. In July 2002, during a routine inspection, the Highways Agency discovered a problem with one of the bearings on one of the 35 piers that support the carriageway on the northbound viaduct. And whilst from the motorist's point of view it might appear there's been very little going on during the period since then, this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, an unseen army of experts have been hard at work underneath the viaduct, investigating the cause of the problem and carrying out repairs. With some of the most experienced engineers, designers and research teams from all over the country carrying out analysis, testing materials and developing solutions. The viaduct was closed when one of the larger stainless steel roller bearings, over two feet long and 14 inches in diameter, was found to split in two. Immediately the problem was identified, traffic was taken off the old northbound viaduct to protect the integrity of the structure, and temporary supports were put in place. Traffic is now being carried on a single lane on the northbound viaduct to maintain an exit at Junction 21, and on six narrow lanes on the new viaduct, with a temporary 40 mile an hour speed limit imposed for safety. The extensive study that followed revealed that all 148 bearings were at risk of failure and needed to be replaced. The bearings allow for thermal movement on the mile long viaduct and are designed to move with the structure. Contractors are now working around the clock to replace all the bearings and to reopen the motorway. Not an easy task, as the viaduct weighs 58,500 tonnes, the equivalent of 5,000 double-decker buses, and it has to be jacked up each time a new bearing is installed. And despite its size, the bearings have to be fitted with Swiss watch accuracy in a highly complex operation. Innovative design solutions have been developed to speed up the replacement of the damaged roller bearings strengthening the beams above each bearing location and adding permanent lifting points before special temporary brackets are attached to enable the viaduct to be lifted with four 400 ton jacks. The damaged bearing can then be removed and a new different type of slider bearing installed. Once the lifting brackets have been removed the new bearing will allow the bridge to move normally. In practice however this isn't a quick process. The jacking itself can take two days for each bearing. The existing traffic restrictions are essential in order that the bridge can be reopened next year as planned. The Highways Agency would like to thank motorists and businesses for their patience. <laughs>